peace, love, and light to you, my dear Taurus. Uh, welcome to my channel, I'm Butterfly Tarot, and it is I, the Butterfly. And I'm here to give you your how do they feel about you reading. Remember, this is a general reading, my dear Taurus. So that means all things may not resonate with you, while well, some things may not. Uh, this could be the Cross Watchers reading, or this very well possibly may not be your reading at all, okay? So, if you are new to my channel, and you like to comment, turn on my channel, like, comment, share, and subscribe to your girl. If you don't have to comment, you could just like and subscribe. But, uh, and if you're returning, thank you for returning. Love you. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so, it's a general reading, so that means that thing, this may be your story, this may not be your story. But I'm here to tell what's going on and how they feel about you. So if you clicked on to this reading, hopefully it will assist you. Okay. So this is mid-September to the end of September 2020. But, you know, general readings can kind of be like timeless sometimes. You know what I mean? Okay. I don't know why I got that song, uh, if you're from the 90s, 1995, the Fugees, N to the A to the S to the K, talking about wearing a mask, some people wear masks, let's see where this reading goes, okay, bottom energy, nine of cups in the reverse, oh boy, so you got somebody who either withdrew a love offer from you, or they see as though that you are no longer offering love towards them. Mm. Selfish as envy. The Knight of Cups tends to be a very selfish energy. Uh, it could be a withdrawal of a love offer, deciding to cut off one's emotions, uh, feeling like there's some unrequited love in the situation. Or saying that this person, that they were in this relationship for their own selfish reasons. And, but this proved to be something to come back to bite them. As the ace, uh, not ace, the page of wands. And the crossing energy of the five of swords and the reverse. So there was some deception here. That this person tried to trick you and fool you. And saying that, let me see, underlying issue the nine of swords in the reverse so it's saying that this person whatever it is that has happened between you and this person that this person is seeing this situation as oh my gosh what the hell have i done i wish i can open up and speak to this person so i can make right or wrong this person realized that they sabotaged the connection between the two of you because they were being selfish fast energy so what is the past energy between the two of you? They were trying to win all cards and it came back to bite them. So it's saying that they want to come back and apologize to you. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I'm still dropping cards. Hierophant, past energy, Taurus energy. Uh, that there was a lack of commitment here. That this person wanted to do things their own way. That they, they were unreliable. That you wanted the relationship to go a certain way and it just... This person was helping on doing things their way and not creating the conflict that's in a relationship because this person was being selfish. So how is it that they think concerning you in this situation? They know they owe you an apology. I know for a fact they owe you apologies, uh, apology because this is bothering them. Okay? This is bothering them and they would like to clear the air with you. I'm just for split me see what it said so this person knows that they pissed you off absolutely you got the six of Pentacles in the reverse and you got the four of, of cups 
this person knows that you have turned your back on them that if they come to you they just can't they know that they weren't doing their job that's the best way i can describe it they know that they weren't doing their job it could be possibly that they were given their attentions and affections and money and so on to somebody else but what that is talking about something that's uneven that they knew that they were not pulling their weight within the relationship and they know that you are not having that that this person can't come to you with this half step in energy where you are going to be the one lugging all the weight within the relationship because you're not having that you're not accepting that they know that they can't come to you half stepping and they know that's what they have been doing but they said they know that that's what they have been doing but now that's not how they're thinking you know they're thinking like okay i know i did not get this person i know i did not get towards what it is that they deserve I know that I was not pulling my, my weight within this relationship. I know that I've given them every reason to not trust me, to not want to be bothered with me, to be um, dissatisfied with me, to, you know, have their back towards me and really not wanting to hear what I have to say because you have been dealing with this person. You have been talking to this person. You've been wanting a higher commitment from this person. You've been wanting all this shit from this person and this person has been sitting on their fucking hands because... They were being selfish, and they know that they were being selfish. They know that they were, were, were being self-centered. They know that they had unrealistic expectations when it comes to the relationship. They wanted you to pour all this energy into them, and you were like, no. You finally got to your point where you like, no, hell no. I'm not dealing with this. I'm not dealing with, with, with nah. I'm no. Not, I'm, not, I'm not accepting this. Whatever, this relationship ain't worth me putting all my goddamn energy into it. Either you going to come to me and you're going to give me what I want and what you know I deserve or there's not going to be a fucking relationship. That's just it, okay? That's what it's saying to me. And this person knows it. They know it. That's what I'm trying to get to drive home to you. They know this. So after all this, they know that they can't come to you with the okie doke. They know that they can't come to you half-stepping. So what's on their chronic thoughts? They're like, oh my gosh. I can't, I can't come back to them trying to give them less than what they deserve. I can't play with their feelings because they got this wall up and they have blocked me out. And so what is it that they have to do? They have to be the magician and then you have the queen of cups. Which means this person loves you still. They do. They love you a lot still. But it's saying that they know that they cannot come towards you unless they are willing to bring the fire, the heat, everything, earth, air, water, and fire. They have to manifest. They have to pull off some magician ass acts. They have to they have to, to have the light bill paid, food on the table, roof over your head, and give you the woo 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 woo. Okay? Whether it be the wand or the woo woo woo. Curly curly kitty cat too. I'm just saying. They know that they cannot come at you unless they are willing to do everything that it is that they know that needs to be given within a relationship in order to keep somebody content, to make you happy, to make sure that the love that you have for this person can be rekindled. Because right now you got your walls up. You got your walls up like you've disappointed me so much. I don't know if I should let you back in. And they know that. So they know that the only way they can come back at you is to be honest, pure, and true and do what they say. Because they mean what you say and say what you say what you mean and mean what you say. That's what they are thinking about with life. Like I can't come just I can't come running up on tourists unless I know that I'm going to do exactly what it is that I say that I'm going to do. So this person is in a situation where they know that if they want to get you back, they don't have to keep real. Okay? They they, they don't, now we keep real. They don't have to show them proof. Okay? You could be dealing with a Gemini. Or Virgo, you could be dealing with Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or, or I mean, or a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. It doesn't matter, but it's saying there's a lot of air energy here, and there's some water. There's a lot of water energy. Okay. Hmm. 
this person better sit the hell down somewhere. If this is their energy, well, let me see. Lord of mercy. Oh, my. Oof. Okay, okay, okay. So, all right. Now, I was going to say, I was going to say, now, I thought there was somebody else. I thought there was some juggling going on, but I'm not going to say that. What I'm going to say is, is that this person ain't ready for you yet. You both are going to be at odds with each other and just still going to be some distance between the two of you and you're going to have to decide what you need to do in this relationship. This person clearly has disappointed you. They've clearly disappointed you. You got the emperor and the empress in reverse. Could be You could have been married to each other or you were in a long-standing relationship with each other. But it's like right now you guys are just going to remain on a break. Okay? Your needs are not being met. Their needs are not being met. You guys, oh gosh. You're afraid that there's still going to be conflict between the two of you. Ew. So that's why they're not rushing in. This is just what they're thinking about. This person with the Emperor in reverse is saying that they know right now they are not equipped to come to offer you and give you what you want. So now we go back to the crown of thoughts of saying that they know that they are not equipped right now, but this is what they would like to do, okay? Just because it's what they like to do, it don't mean it's what they're going to be doing. If they're not in a position to do it, I don't know what to tell you. Whew. No, there's a standstill saying this thing ain't going forward. All right. That's how everybody sees the situation that you guys are on a break from each other. Seven of Swords in reverse. This person wish they oh my gosh. They want to bear their soul. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Huh. Look at that, six of cups. Oh my gosh, my mom did a better look at all. I feel like it's not going to work. All right, I'm going to put this one back. But, all right, see, what's happening is what had happened was is that you're dealing with a person who is extremely insecure. They're extremely insecure. They feel as though that they can't give you what you want, what you need, and what you deserve. They know that they can't come back into your life until they're ready to give you what it is that you deserve. Okay, you could be dealing with a Pisces. Or a Cancer or a Scorpio or Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. It doesn't matter. We're just talking about the energy being red, really. But it's saying, and the rules could be reversed, but it's saying that this person would like, they wish to allow themselves to be vulnerable enough to talk to you about how they feel. They know that they've disappointed you. They wish they can open up and tell you. Because they know deep down inside um, that. They know you kind of figured them out, you know, with this, this seven of swords and the six of, of cups. They know, they, they know in their heart of hearts, you know, six of swords, oh, not six, that's a six of swords, six of cups, um, soulmate energy, being at odds with somebody that you consider them to be your soulmate or somebody from the past that you've dealt with that you know for a long time, but it's saying that they wish they can come clean with you. Okay, this person feels inadequate when it comes to dealing with you. You guys are just having this funky ass relationship. And I mean, there could be third party energy, but um, that's not what's being focused on right now. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Out come the Eight of Cups. So I guess it's not good enough for you or this person. Ten of Pentacles and what else? Hmm. Strength card, one more. Two swords in reverse. Oof. Alright, okay, here we go. I'm gonna say this. This is this is for a select few. 
that this person is going to be returning to somebody from their past that they have children with or a family with or somebody that they have something established with they would like to come back to you they would like to work something out with you but if something cannot be worked out between the two of you matter of fact it's just saying that that something there's just just too much friction here I don't know what the hell happened between the two of you but it's saying that this person is going to move on from this to return to somebody that they have some, they had a previous relationship with it could be an ex-wife or somebody or ex-husband or somebody that they have children with a family situation or maybe that they're just focusing on their own financial stability moving on from this with the strength card and the two of swords is saying that this is a decision that they need to make that The Two of Swords in Reverse is saying that this is an undesirable outcome, meaning that this is not a decision that they want to make. It feels like it's a decision that they are forced to make and they have to be strong to make this decision. And like I said, they either may be just focusing on themselves and their financial stability at this time, or they could be going back to somebody from their past that they had already had a, a previous commitment with for a family or financial type of stability. So even though this person cares about you, it's saying that, um, damn, I wasn't expecting that, not like that. So sometimes, all right, because I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I'm like thir a tarot reader, a therapist, even outside, before I started doing tarot, I used to talk to people and they were just like, oh my gosh, you know? That makes so much sense when I would say certain things. You got the devil here. Temptation. Restrictions. Codependency. Out of codependency. Mm. What else? Why is this devil card here? Dedicated effort in the reverse. Because one is feel so that how can they put in the work when they feel so that they are being criticized? That what they have to offer is not good enough. That it'll never make the cut, never make the grade. Darkest fears. Tired of not sleeping at night. Putting too much energy and effort into the thoughts of this relationship. Feeling like that this the dark night is so so many things that need to be cleared. Oh, you you're not wanting to deal with it. Needing to deal with it one's own situation first. Three of Pentacles, bridging the gaps, reaching out to whom, whom is being reached out to. Lead, there is energy, taking the lead for what? Opening up as the Four of Pentacles and one more, daydream the decision, making a decision about what? The nine, the, this is the hermit card. So this person, is. this situation has some sort of toxicity, codependent situation. It's saying no longer putting the effort in. It's not that they don't want to. It's that they feel as though that this is something that is difficult and that they cannot fix on their own. So instead of them putting the energy, and also this could be you deciding to go after what it is that will bring you life. But there's a lot of darkness here. With that, that devil card and that nine of swords, there's a lot of darkness here. Things that need to be uh, dealt with on the emotional level that requires for you to pull away. And with that four of pentacles and saying that, taking late, like even though you are moving on, you both are, are taking a break from each other, moving on. It looks like this person is returning somebody from their past, making the decision to detach themselves to go back to what they knew before. Okay? This is confusing. Well, not that it's confusing. It's just that, listen, I've done a lot of personal readings. And this, and, and th these readings that I've done, I'm like, oof. The fact is, is that the energy, it is what it is. People are involved in what it is that they're involved in. It's hard for me to understand the energy because of the type of person I am. But I respect the fact that people's lives go in a certain way because it's like in accordance with what's happening right now within the times. You know, I mean, it's just what it is. And it's like, 
Mm. An undesirable decision has to be made, that's going to be made because this person feels as though that they cannot fix the situation even though that they would like to. And maybe it is that this person feels weak, that they're not strong enough in order to be in a relationship with you. So they'd rather go back to what is familiar to them instead of what it will actually help them and cause them to grow. See, if this person goes back to somebody who coddles and babies them, then that means that that person will never grow. Okay? And if you're a person who requires much more from this person, that means you are the one who's forcing this person to be outside of their element and what it is that they want, okay, within life. With their, with, they have to confront their fears and face their darkest selves knowing that they have to do more instead of they know they can't just be with you and just give you mediocre type of things within a relationship. No, it's saying that in order to be with you, this person has to be on a path of growth. And you're just not accepting a person not being on a path of growth, okay? That is my reading for you, Taurus. Thank you for joining me on my channel. I truly appreciate you for stopping by, tapping in, and tuning in with your sis from Lemmas. As I always say, I will see you next week. And peace, love, and light to each and every one of you. And I hope to see you in the next reading, okay? Peace and so much love. Thank you for joining me and goodbye.